So here I have the brand new Ping G430 driver, one of the most anticipated driver releases of the year. Now it's taken Ping almost two years to develop this driver, with the last Ping driver being the Ping G425. So there's been a ton of hype around the release of this driver. And in today's video, we're going to put this driver up to the test against this $50,000 professional indoor golf simulator just to see how good it really is and whether or not it's the best golf driver of 2023. So let's get to it. So there are actually three versions of this driver, this one being the G430 Max, but there's also the G430 LST and the SFT. Ping G430 Max is the one that gives you the maximum head size and the maximum forgiveness. Next up is the Ping G430 LST. Now the LST stands for low spin technology. And really this gives you lower spin and maximum distance, but not as quite forgiving as a 430 Max. And lastly, we have the Ping G430 SFT. Now the SFT stands for straight flight technology. And the way it works is that there's a weight in the back of the head that you can adjust towards the heel to help you minimize your slice. So there's been a ton of technology added to the Ping G430. First off is the optimized T9S Plus forged face. Now the Ping G430 has a thinner face which has been designed to help you give you faster ball speeds and thus more distance. Another big upgrade is with the sound. Now Ping has created a new internal rib structure that will help increase the stiffness of the crown, skirt, and sole that makes it sound even better at impact. Now a lot of golfers had complained about that with the 425. It just didn't sound good, but not so much with the 430. Now a new technology that Ping has just come out with is called spin distancy. Now you try saying that three times fast. Now this is a new technology that's supposed to make your spin more consistent. Now basically what they have done is on the lower part of the face, they've reduced the loft. So when you have those low bottom of the club strikes or thin shots, you're still gonna be maximizing your ball speed. So now that we know more about the Ping G430 driver, let's do a little test. Let's just see how accurate and forgiving this really is. And to do so, I'll be using this trustworthy source, a professional $50,000 indoor golf simulator. I'm gonna do a practice session. I'm at the Ping G430 driver, and we're gonna see whether or not this really is the best golf driver of 2023. So let's do it. I'm gonna be using the Ping G430, and then I'm gonna compare it to my Ping G410, which has been out for a couple years now. And we're gonna see really if the 430 is an upgrade. And on this first shot, the Ping G430 carried 245.7 yards, while the distance was 262.7. So straight out of the bat, I mean, it's pretty darn good in my opinion. On the second shot of the Ping G430, I hit it a little bit low on the face, and as a result, the carry dropped about 220 and a distance of 236.1. So even on low missed hit shots, I still get a little bit of a draw and just lose a little bit of my carry. On this third shot of the Ping G430, I did push it a little bit to the right, but it gave us a carry of 234 with a rollout of about 246.8. So even on a miss hit, a little bit of a push, I'm still getting an average of about 230 yards on carry, which is pretty good in my opinion. On this fourth shot with the Ping G430, I had this thing pretty solid. Uh, gave me a distance of 253.6 yards with a carry of 240. So on a pretty well struck shot, it just feels good in your hands. And as you can see, you have a lot of control with this club. On this fifth and final shot with the Ping G430, I tried to hit the ball as hard as I possibly could on it, to be quite honest. And as you can see, the carry was 246 yards with a distance of 260. And for me, that's a really good shot. So I'm really impressed with the 430. Now let's move on to my old Ping G410 that I've had for the last four years. And it'll be really interesting to see how the two compare to one another. On this first shot by Ping G410, I hit a little bit low on the face. And as a result, the carry was 227.2 with a distance of 244.7. But I still got the draw that I'm used to getting with my driver. On the second shot with my old Ping 410, I hit it pretty solid this time, straight in the face. And it gave us a carry of 249 yards with a nice draw and a distance of 273.8. So this is what I'm more used to doing with my driver. On this third shot, my Ping G410, I pushed it to the right just a tad. Uh, gave us a carry of 235 yards with a distance of 257, but with a good ball speed of 141, it was pretty solidly hit, just a little bit of a push. On this fourth shot, my Ping G410, I hit it pretty solid with a carry of 239.9 yards and a distance of 266.3 and a nice easy fade. And this is pretty indicative to what I normally do with my club, so I'm pretty happy with the shot. On this fifth and final shot with a Ping G410, I hit it as hard as I possibly could, and we got a carry of 255 yards with a distance of 279 uh, with a nice easy draw. And, and to me, this is why I've been using my Ping G410 for the last four years. It just works really well for me. So to recap, with the 
five shot they took on the Ping G430, my average carry was 237 yards with an average distance of 252 yards, which to be honest, is really good for a driver I've never hit. It is the max version, which is very similar to the Ping G410 that I have now, and I'm pretty happy with it. However, this is where the big issue for me lies. When I use the Ping G410, the one I've had for a couple of years, my average carry is 241 with an average distance of 264.3. So while the Ping G430 looks great, feels great, and is pretty accurate off the tee, I'm still hitting my older driver four yards further with better dispersion and more accurate, making more of a draw biased. So while as much as I love the Ping G430 and I would probably upgrade this year to it, it's still hard to figure out why I'm not hitting it as well as my old club. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. So big thanks to our friend Todd at All About Golf out here in Tempe, Arizona for hooking us up with the Ping G430. If you guys are out here, you need to check them out. And a really big thank you to our friends at Indoor Golf Design for letting us use this amazing indoor golf simulator. To be honest, I'm just blown away with a Ping G430 driver. My last driver I owned was a Ping G410 and I've used it for the last couple of years. So this is definitely going on my list of a club I'm going to be using this season. I would highly recommend the Ping G430 driver out to you and you guys out there looking for an upgrade or just looking for a reliable and dependable club. But if you're looking for a launch monitor this season that won't break the bank and really to be quite honest is one of my favorite launch monitors of all time, then check out this video right here where we put the Garmin R10 to the test. And I'll see you in the next video.